All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless me here talking about real music in real time for a few real people out there, right? Just like you and just like me. All right, so a uh, quick update on the uh, monetization issue. Um, it could be a glitch. It would be nice if it were a glitch. Um, there are other channels apparently having the same issue, but um, it's kind of weird because um, the way it happened and how uh, the software itself, when you try to uh, you know, monetize a video, it just vanished. It's not like it just doesn't let you do it. There's no function to do it, much like when you start a brand new channel, uh, they don't include that portion of the setup. If you've ever loaded a YouTube video and you're a content creator, you know that there's an order to things and uh, to be monetized is what, like third on the list or something. So um, I'm hopeful, but then again, you know, um, I'm also a little bit skeptical. So um, if you're the praying type, uh, please pray for uh, the channel to continue to be monetized. It isn't currently monetized. So um, yeah. Um, also, I want to thank uh, the huge outpouring of support. Uh, there are you know, moments where you realize you have 61,000 subscribers and uh, today was one of those days. And uh, all the patrons on Patreon, uh, again, if you wanna sign up for Patreon, it's pretty easy. Uh, on the banner of this channel, uh, when you land on the channel, there should be a logo that looks like a Patreon logo. It's like a line and a circle, right? Uh, it kind of looks like a P, sort of. Um, you click on that and you should be able to sign up for Patreon. In the last video, I also put out my PayPal email. So if you want to do one-time donations, uh, that's a good way to do it. Also, yes, Rumble. A lot of people apparently didn't know that uh, my channel automatically uh, gets put over to Rumble. And yes, those videos are monetized. I have $1.19 now in my account over at Rumble. Uh, if you want to watch videos on Rumble, that's fantastic. Um, you know, YouTube, whether we like it or not, is a much more visible platform. Uh, I'm also over on Odyssey, too, which is a crypto place. And uh, I do have a channel over on Rockfin as well, not for Real Music Observer, but for my uh, sister channel, my brother channel called uh, The Radical Independent, which also got demonetized here on YouTube. Um, so again, um, it could be me. I'm sure there are a lot of people rooting for this. And there are a few people out there who are with me. And I really appreciate your support as today has been a rather roller coaster like day. I saw one creator put up a video saying, this is how I earn a living. This is how I pay my mortgage. This is what I do. Uh, I think it was a gentleman who does this travel channel, completely innocuous channel, like, hey, I'm gonna tell you where to go on vacation, or I'm gonna tell you about a certain part of the world that you've never seen before. And so he got demonetized. So um, I'm thinking it could be a glitch, but it is a weird glitch. It's a very deep glitch. It's not something that typically happens. And um, as I talk here, it hasn't been resolved as of yet. Now, uh, I have some bombshell information, right? It's music-related information. Neil Sean, uh, who was on Instagram a couple hours ago, uh, posted some very interesting information that dates back 31 years to when Steve Perry left the band Journey. Pretty amazing stuff. It says here, 31 years later, when he left for the last time, as there were many before that, he was present at the board of directors meeting as no one thought I was there, but while being represented by my attorney, 
I was there listening on the line. So it's not true that he was only there through proxy. His voice was heard by myself and all that attended, voting me off the board, voting Ross, whom he fired, and Smith, whom he fired, as well as Herbie. Smith voted himself in as president. Ross voted himself in as secretary. And they all threw myself under the bus as well as John, but John had initially called the board meeting. All right. Now, I believe that is referring to the most recent meeting of maybe what, three years ago when Neil Sean said there was a coup and they were trying to basically kick me out of my own band, which again, to me, as somebody who's not um, into all this legal mumbo jumbo stuff and who is having a hard time following the situation. And again, doing the best that I can. A lot of people say, I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm pretty deep into this. So when Sean says 31 years later, he means 31 years after the fact. So uh, 1987, uh, if you do the math, I think you're looking at 2018. So 31 years later, when he left for the last time, as there were many before that, and he's referring to all the other times that Steve Perry decided to leave the band. Now, Sean, Neil Sean reveals something pretty interesting here. So the Elmo agreement that Perry forced upon the band this was, I believe, in 1987, or maybe 1986. 87, 86, I'm not sure. But whenever that Elmo agreement was signed, uh, that was the agreement that had to be undone in 1998. And that's when things probably got even worse for Neil Sean and Jonathan Kane. The reason I say that is because both of those guys took a big time haircut, 12% at least, and probably more when that agreement was redone. So Perry and his attorney back in 1987 drew up a new agreement 10 minutes before the band was scheduled to go on and do five sold out shows at the Neil Blaisdell Center in Hawaii. Okay, now for you uh, concert fanatics who might remember the five shows, maybe you were at one of those shows, uh, that would have been an interesting concert. It says here, we had played the first two, then our manager Herbie came to us stating, that Steve Perry was not going to go on without us signing. Herbie claimed he didn't know what else to do, so he, he suggested we sign. We did sign, but I will say under duress and not having any time for legal to look at it. Bottom line, all these years have gone by. Then I found out our music wasn't even trademarked. trademarked. Uh, nor the name until 2005, and I trademarked the rest of everything in 2020. So out of all the attorneys, accountants, managers we've had, do you think just one of them could have taken care of business and protected the band out of the hundreds of thousands of dollars we spent throughout the years? I'm going to take a wild guess and say they all knew the differences between songwriting copyright, and ultimately trademarks to everything. Just a little something to think about, friends. Neil Sean, founder and now manager of the band Journey. All right. So um, that's some crazy new information about holding the band hostage uh, before they were going to play all these sold out shows. How many years ago? 31 years ago, probably, something like that. Um, 
longer than that now because now it's uh, what 2022 so we're looking at 35 years ago so this is crazy stuff people and it continues uh to escalate it looks as though um neil sean is just putting it out there now again i'm reading <laughs> i'm reading from the post right i'm reading from the actual post and doing my best job to decipher the post going back to 87 now you'll probably say well, what does this have to do with 2017 2018 in that particular coup attempt um i'm gonna say this right i wasn't there so i don't know if steve perry was there or not neil sean claims that he was there and it wasn't just by proxy and by the way like i said <laughs> like i said in the first video on this who cares if it's by proxy or not i have maintained throughout this so-called controversy that steve perry was in on it he was in on the coup he had something to do with it now perry has said no no i haven't been in the band since 1998 that wasn't me so i don't know what anyone is talking about there so i think maybe some clarification is in order and the only person who can really clarify this is Steve Perry. And uh, Steve has a holiday album coming out. And I think that's what he's going to be talking about in the days to come. Uh, for you Steve Perry fans, that's great news. For uh, fans of the band Journey, who would probably like to get to the bottom of this, you know, trademark battle and who would like to maybe move on from it, uh, maybe Steve Perry could clarify for everybody uh, his involvement, if what Neil Sean is saying is true here. Uh, it sure looks fairly detailed. And by the way, this looks like an account that I have read before that was sent to me anonymously. That's all I'm going to say. I don't have a source. It was sent to me anonymously. I couldn't trace where it came from. Uh, and nor do I have to reveal anyone's name in this situation. Uh, in this case, I'm reading directly from Neil Sean, and this is what he has to say. So anyway, folks, figured I'd get uh, back in the saddle a little bit here since we had um, some interesting information about uh, the Journey trademark situation. And going back a, a long time, hey, sign this or I'm not going on stage. That's... um. That's pretty crazy stuff. And then um, Steve Perry left the band after that, came back, of course, for trial by fire, and then left again. And uh, according to Neil Sean, he kind of came back again when it was time to possibly oust Neil Sean and Jonathan Cain from the band. Uh, this is really too much drama. And uh, for those of you who would just like to get back to the music, I guess you can do that. But behind the scenes, this is some pretty crazy stuff. So in any event, folks, again, thanks for the support on the channel. Holy crap, Batman. Um, just the kind words. Uh, I typically don't do videos at this time of day as it is kind of late for me. <laughs> I tend to go to bed early and wake up early. Um, but yeah, I am thankful for all of you. And again, keep praying that the glitch gets cleared up. Otherwise, it's going to be you and I supporting the channel, me with the content and you with the patronage over on Patreon or over on PayPal. Again, thank you so much for doing what you've done today. It really has, uh, it, it's been an emotional day and I appreciate the people who have uh, chipped in and have expressed their support. So there you have it.